All right, people. So here it is. Here is the updated Super Spicy Bell uh, deck. I was kind of waiting till the ban list. A lot of people were requesting, like, "Hey, is there any update to the deck?" And I was like, "No, not yet." You know, waiting for the ban list. Ban list is up. I went ahead and updated the deck, so I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys the deck profile, so you guys can go ahead and uh, play test it and uh, do whatever. You know, we got a couple of hits, a couple of not hits, a couple of changes, as you can clearly see. So I'm gonna go into detail about everything, and uh, hopefully we can go ahead and. Uh, uh, get it done. So, uh, starting it off, we have one of each two bell. Uh, despite the number generator, one one of each. Don't let the number generator influence you. You only need one of each. Doom Shaman, uh, the core of the deck. Uh, essentially, he, and he's uh, when he's uh, he's gem nine. So when he gets that uh, additional summon, he summons that fiend from your hand or graveyard. So summon that you bell. You bell tribute off Doom Shaman. Doom Shaman will destroy you, Bell Summon Terror, or Doom Shaman Summon that Tinker and go for Sync 8 plays. Uh, you got all your your enablers, your senders, Triple Dark Griffer, Triple Armageddon Knight. You need to send the monsters you need to get set up, whether it be Mally or Doom Shaman. You know, get those in the graveyard, make a Beatrice who will help you send the you Bell and the Tinker. So, uh, yeah, these guys are the first step towards uh, sending to the graveyard. Uh, Tinker, uh, the go-to tuner. I uh, actually really like the effect to go ahead and look at the top card of the deck, either place it on top of the, our bottom. Uh, it's really helpful. It's a mandatory effect, and it helps you get prepared for the upcoming turn. Uh, Double Summon a Monk. Uh, you can see there is a lot of spells in this deck, so go ahead and playing Summon a Monk to pitch a spell to then summon either a Dark Graffer or an Armageddon Knight from your deck. Uh, really does help with your setup play, so that's great as well. Uh, then we dropped Mali from 3 to 2, and the reason why we did that is because 3 was getting a little cloggy, and during the time playtesting in between this deck profile and the previous deck profile, we draw into multiple Mali's, it would clog, you know, I'm just pretty much enabling myself to draw into multiple Mali's, and really, I only need the Mali play once, like, I, I just need that one setup, and then I'm fine, I'm like, alright, send the Mali, Mali's gonna summon that other Mali, that's it, I don't have to worry about drawing to another Mali, summoning another Mali, I don't really need to do that, I mean, I guess you could run the third Mali's, just in case you wanna go summon Mali, banish with Tinker, but Tinker, generally doesn't get summoned unless it's through Doom Shaman, so that's the reason why. So, it's pretty much straight up for Beatrice's place, you know? You just send that one Mally, it's in the graveyard, summon Doom Shaman, banish the Mally, summon the Mally, make a Beatrice, and then send the Bell and the Tinker. That's essentially what you do. So, uh, I drop Mally down to two. You could probably, if you feel like it and you feel more comfortable, you can go ahead and up Mally to three by taking out the Upstar Gum, but I kind of felt like the Upstar Gum was kind of, a, uh, of course, how powerful it is. It got limited to one. Uh, play it. When uh, filler card, 39 card deck, win more card, get closer to my card, especially with Tinker. Uh, you can go ahead and, you know, go Doom Shaman, summon Tinker, sink a Tinker, look at the top card, top or bottom. If you like it, put it on top, upstart Goblin, draw into it. So that's the, another one of the reasons why I was like, you know what? Uh, it just kind of feels like with upstart at one, you kind of want to play it now. It's like, fuck it, it's at one. It's, it seems like it's going to turn into more like a staple. Uh, maybe it's just me personally, but it seems like. Just throw upstart Dalma in there and, you know, you can't do your 37 card deck. Uh, but you can at least do 39, you know, you can draw into that next card. Just because upstart is limited back to one, uh, and it was previously limited to one, doesn't mean that it's a terrible card. You know, it's still uh, a one-for-one one that you get to see your next card. It's a very powerful effect. So, I mean, if it wasn't powerful, it wouldn't be limited, right? Anyway, uh, Rhoda, go ahead and search for Dark Reffers on again, Knights. Uh, duh. Foolish send <laughs> without having to get Armageddon or Dark uh, Graffer. Uh, Regaki, one more card. Just throw your Regaki and push for Dan. Uh, Soul Charge, one more card. Soul Charge and pay the life points and, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, hopefully go ahead and set up a very powerful field or, you know, enable your place in exchange for not conducting a battle phase. So, Upstart, I already talked about that. Uh, triple Twin Twister, I uh, didn't get hit and, uh, you know, as you can clearly see, there's some cards that might I might draw that I want to pitch, and then popping back is also great. So it, it's a win-win situation when it comes to that. Whether you draw Doom Shaman Tinker or you Bells or Doom Shamans, whatever, you can go ahead and just Twin Twister, pitch them to the graveyard where you generally want them to be, and pop some back row in exchange. So definitely triple Twin Twister. Uh, uh, definitely one of my favorite cards in uh, all you get right now, and I'm happy it stayed at three. <laughs> And we got our revival. We got our triple swing of memories for Doom Shaman, triple silent doom for Doom Shaman. Uh, despite uh, Norton's hit down to one, we're still doing the inst uh, triple insta fusion because of uh, him being an enabler. So, triple insta fusion. Uh, we got our one Norton. Just make sure you get it because Norton can summon back you know, your level 4 monsters, your Dark Reffer, or your Armageddon Knight. Uh, we took out the. 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 
sync six and the sync eight plays if they were getting a little bit cloggy like you really don't necessarily need it it's nice to have if you want to go ahead and keep it in there you can but i i really went through the extract and i was like you know what what do i need what don't i need and what do i really want to keep and uh you know, despite that, Norton can go ahead and summon Tinker. I was like, nah, you know what, I think I'm going to go ahead and just have Norton summon my level 4s uh, and go into Emerald, Detach, Emerald summon a normal monster, summon Doom Shaman. So essentially, you can treat this Instafusion as another one of these survival cards, essentially. So, uh, very powerful. And of course, with the card coming off ban, we got the Thoughts Night Restrict, who can uh, easily sack the crap out of your opponent, especially in this deck, because we got it more than just, you know, uh, Instafusion, Summon Thousand Eye Restrict, take your monster, oh, he's dead, you know, so, uh, make sure you get it, triple Instafusion just for the, the consistency, uh, just like, instead of just triple Instafusion, two Norton, it's just triple Instafusion, one Norton, one Thousand Eye Restrict. Uh, two Super Vice, uh, like I said, I was playtesting at three and it got really cloggy, uh, despite it being Super Vice Bell. uh, you need, it's a win more card, so if you get it and you can play multiple, that's great. But uh, it can get really cloggy at three, so that's why I put it down to two. It's at two in the previous deck profile. I was thinking, I was testing at three, and I was like, no, this is cloggy, so we'll drop it back down to two. Uh, three, Limit Reverse has actually got upgraded and exchanged. Uh, in the previous deck profile, we had Call of the Haunted and Oasis, but those cards are really slow. I want to exchange Limit Reverse. Limit Reverse is just the win more card for you, Bell. So it gets you, Bell, more involved with the duel. It's like, hey, uh, I don't need to use my Doom Shamans to make Terror, I can just use Limit Reverse, you know? Uh, you might also notice that uh, Dark Hole was taken out of the deck because uh, I'm kind of stepping away since we took out Call of the Haunted Oasis. I'm kind of stepping away from shooting myself in, the, in, my, in my foot, you know. Essentially, like, hey, you know, this deck is faster than the previous version and I can bust out stronger plays. I don't generally, despite you Bell, I don't want to Dark Hole my own field. Uh, Bell can kill uh, herself through Limit Verse, so I don't need Dark Hole with Call of the Haunted or Oasis. So. That's the reason why Dark Holes aren't here, and, then, and through that, we can actually play some back row and uh, makes the deck a little bit more competitive in that sense, so uh, that's pretty good. So, uh, triple limit reverse for Yubel, of course, Yubel, summon Yubel, turn into Fantasy Destroy, summon Terror, but you're probably wondering, like, oh, what else can you do? Uh, it's not just Yubel, you can go ahead and summon Tinker, so you can go ahead and, uh, you know, if you didn't do the, the Beatrice plays and you have Malian Grave, you can go... Mally, Banish Mally, Summon Mally, Limit Reverse, Summon Tinker, because that's a thousand attack, Sync, you know. Uh, you can also summon back Summoner Monk, who has 800 attack, so, uh, you know, you're getting uh, some mileage out of Limit Reverse outside of just Yubel. And then last but not least, you can summon back your Thousand Eye Restrict. So, uh, this is one of the scary things about Thousand Eye Restrict coming off band, is essentially, yes, you can summon with Instafusion and get that one for him, but I can also just revive it, because it doesn't need to be summoned properly, with, uh, with, uh, of course, uh, Call of the Haunted Oasis or Limit Reverse. So I'm back Thousand Eyes Restrict, and now it's here to stay. And, of course, with Thousand Eyes Restrict being banned for, for cool, man, you know, having this guy in the field more than just, you know, I don't need to summon him properly or summon him through Interfusion and then revive him if need be. Yeah, that's pretty power, so uh, definitely uh, Limit Reverse. And uh, the One Solemn Warning is one of the cheaper cards you can get. Uh, we're not, of course, playing uh, Solemn Strike, but the card's way too expensive, and, and, you know, it's not worth the time putting it in a Yubel deck. It's more of a casual deck. And then uh, Bottomless and Time Space, because uh, you might see someone newly added to the after deck, of course, being uh, Rathalasia. So... Uh, let's go ahead and go extra deck, two Beals, one Vodiger, two Scrap, average, one Scar Right. Uh, I put in one Crimson Blader because you can bust them out and then uh, hopefully uh, lock your opponent out of uh, doing them high level plays, you know. Uh, go ahead and, uh, you know, they try to, when you're doing against like Monarchs or something and they don't have a Tribute Monster and they'll try to summon that Prime to block, Crimson Blader, pack over that Prime, you're not summoning. Uh, a strong, a high level monarch next turn, you know. Your opponent cannot normal summon or spec summon level 5 to higher monsters during their next turn, so that's pretty helpful. Uh, I said go ahead and throw in Cypher and Omega because he's just kind of a win more card. Uh, just in case, uh, you probably don't need him, and I was kind of debating, I kind of went back and forth, and so I was like, do I need him, do I not need him? But, you know, he's a fine sync 8, he's a good uh, standalone sync 8 when you don't need to really go uh, to end, and of course he is. Uh, he can hop out of the way of a Terra White, that's also good, so when you don't want to do Bales, you can also do uh, Omega, you know, uh, just go ahead and uh, poke, and then during your main phase, go ahead and banish, pick out of your opponent's hand, you'll come back during your next standby phase, so kind of dodging out of Terra while poking and picking stuff out of your opponent's hand, I mean, it's time for Omega, 
you know. Uh, his price would probably go down with uh, the reasoning head and the damage juggler head, but he might stay up because of uh, the Shiranui plays too, so gotta be uh, watchful for that. So uh, just keep your eye out for uh, Omega and see when it's a good time to pick him up. Of course, Castell, your ring four, Wrath, or, uh, you know, set up plays pretty much. Uh, it used to be Giant Hand, but then I was like, as I started playing Wrath more, I was like, Wrath is much better, you know, playing them trap holes from your deck. So, Summoner Monk, Pitch, Summon Armageddon Night Direct Reference, do your setup play. <coughs> you used to be able to, you know, go into Lava Chain and then send another monster, but Lava Chain is banned, of course. So, um, you can just take these, uh, the Summoner Monk and whatever you summon, either Dark Reference or Armageddon Knight, go into Wrath, and of course you got your bottom of the your time space trap, your space time trap hole or time space trap hole to uh, go ahead and fuck up your opponent with uh, Wrath. Very powerful monster, ridiculously powerful. Uh, Emerald, I said, uh, you could do uh, Summoner Monk, but you already used your normal summon to normal summon Summoner Monk. It lets you summon through uh, Limit Verse, of course. So uh, you generally don't want to do the play with Emerald, you know, pitch, send, like, Doom Shaman, uh, go into Emerald, detach, and then. Uh, and then uh, summon back Doom Shaman because you already use Northland. Unless you have Super Vice, then you can go Super Vice, summon back Tinker or U Bell and do that play. But uh, no, this is more for uh, Norden. Just Insta Fusion, Norden, Norden summon you back a level 4, go into Emerald, Detach, summon Doom Shaman, Doom Shaman, uh, you know, summon some of your effects, summon Tinker, Sync 8. So uh, that's it. Uh, Thousand Irish Trick, you got off band, and you actually have more synergy in this deck than just throwing in. Uh, Insta Fusion, you know, the Insta Fusion target, and that uh, Limit Reverse, and then of course, since we're running Beatrice to send, uh, Beatrice will summon that uh, Dante as well, which is a powerful 28 uh, beater who can't be targeted, so win win. So you, you're already using Beatrice first, and in fact, and then uh, you also get a Dante when she is destroyed by your opponent's by your pony about by card effect, so that's good too. So uh, there you go, people. There is the updated version of the Supervised Supervisor deck. And so there's a couple of changes you can do. You could you could probably go without Omega. That's up to you. Uh, and uh, you could probably go without the Upstart Goblin if you want to. You can run a third Mally, but like I said, he was getting kind of cloggy at three. Uh, I really only need him once. It's just like you know, banish Mally, summon Mally with Doom Shaman, Beatrice once, and uh, of course with me also uh, taking out. Um, uh, Photon Strike Bouncer, you can also put Photon Strike Bouncer in and maybe get more use out of him. Uh, the third Mally, you can do that. You can put in uh, a Sync 6, Goyo Guardian, or uh, Stardust uh, Warrior, or something along those lines, or whatever his name was. Uh, yeah, I said, you, you guys can go ahead and customize it to your liking, but for right now, I go play testing and uh, tweaking the deck accordingly to the new list is what I kind of feel is better. <coughs> I kind of felt like, especially with the Malleus debatable, I kind of felt like I'd rather go two Malleus, two Malleus once, and then run that upstart gum just to make sure that I see the next card. Because sometimes that next card can be the difference between having to play and not having to play in this deck. So, uh, very helpful. Uh, you can have your hopefully you have some shen fun shenanigans, Thousand Ivory Strike, your limit reverses, and all that. So, uh, I hope this helps. Uh, go ahead and have fun with this updated Super Ricey Bell deck. Uh, hopefully, we don't have any uh, difficulties with. Um, uh, content taking i'm not gonna bring that issue up but uh uh if you see this deck profile pretty much anywhere else uh go ahead and tell me because you know uh i generally don't give people the rights unless they credit me because you know uh you know i'm not evil master for nothing i actually take the time and effort and i don't like when people just take my content and just throw it up on their channel as their own but uh we're not gonna get into that so if you guys have any suggestions go ahead and comment them in the comment section below uh go ahead and have fun with the deck and uh Hopefully, Supervised Bell works well for the uh, uh, April ban list. It's a little bit more competitive, and uh, hopefully it does well. All right, people. Thanks for watching.